In the last video, we established as false Professor Margaret Somerville's absurd claim of the Dutch going to Germany for health care because they feared being killed by their doctors. But she goes on. In actual fact, they've got good reason to fear that. Uh, there's a minimum, of, a minimum of 500 cases a year of doctors who administer euthanasia to people in the Netherlands where it's legal and the patient does not know that they're being given euthanasia and has not consented to it. Some reports put the figure as high as 2,000 cases a year. And she makes a similar case for Belgium. So let's look at the empirical evidence. What she's referring to is non-voluntary euthanasia, or NVE. It occurs in every jurisdiction around the world. A study published in 2003 found these rates. You'll notice that Italy had the lowest and Belgium the highest NVE rates. And at the time of this study, which countries had legalised assisted dying? Switzerland had since 1942. And the Netherlands since 1982. But none of the others had. So the Swiss and Dutch NVE rates with assisted dying laws were lower than Denmark's without one. And the higher Belgian rate wasn't caused by an assisted dying law because none existed at the time. But did the Belgian and Dutch NVE rates go up when each country legalised assisted dying by statute in 2002? Here's what happened in Belgium. The rate didn't go up, it went down, and the drop is highly statistically significant. And in the time since Professor Somerville made her misleading claim, it's remained lower. And here's what happened in the Netherlands. This rate before the Act is around 1,000 cases a year, and this one after the Act is around 500, the rate that Professor Somerville refers to in her claim as the minimum. What she failed to mention is that since statutory legalisation of assisted dying, the Dutch NVE rate has dropped, not risen, and to a similar level as the UK, the world's gold standard for palliative care, and which has never had an assisted dying law. And since Professor Somerville made her misleading claim, it's dropped even further. If Professor Somerville believes that she has verifiable empirical evidence to back up her claims, let her produce it for examination. Until then, her non-voluntary euthanasia, Slippery Slope, is nothing more than fear-mongering innuendo.